We're on a walk. Uh, Where are we? North? Anaga. 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 We're in Anaga. On the peninsula. Yeah. You can see the sea from both sides. Which is quite nice. cool. Yeah, nice. Slightly yeah. terrifying when you're on a small path such as this. Uh, but yeah, we're here to look at the Laurel Forest, which is one of the last remaining patches in the world of this ancient forest, which has been around for about 14 million years, was it? I think about 14 million years. And there's loads of endemic species that only exist here. And they all end in canariensis. Yeah. <laughs> this is the ivy canariensis, and they look like little hearts. Why, why is that a snail slug? Because a shell helps prevent predation and desiccation. Yeah. Not having a shell helps you hide places. However, it's not got a shell big enough to help it with any protection. Mm -hmm. And it's got a shell so it can't crawl into tiny spaces. So it shouldn't really be here, but it is. It's hard. Hard cover. <laughs> I'm really enjoying it. It's just, it's so different to anything we've seen so far. It's all been kind of dry and arid, with little cacti and everything, and euphorbia and whatnot. And um, yeah, finally in, in sort of a bit of a jungle. It's incredible. The huge, big, big ferns here. Stunning. It's gorgeous. And very green as well, which is nice to see. I think that however good the staff are within the university departments when they're lecturing and holding seminars and tutorials, to actually be able to go out and get your boots muddy and walk around in the different environment is the only way to really get to feel that environment. This week we've been from something which is almost a desert shore to this which is almost a tropical rainforest. And I don't think there's any better way to really get to grips with feeling what different plant communities and habitats are really like.